Hi everyone. In this video we will see suspension effects, when a car is dropped from a height, using SOLIDWORKS 2017. Let's start. Here, I've already assembled a very primitive car model. The car model is kept at a height above a fixed base. Each wheel has its independent suspension system, including two control arms, wheels, and a simple spring component. Simple concentric mates are used in this assembly, for replicating the actual motion of wheel assembly. Make all components floating other than base. Let's go to motion study. Select the basic motion option. Change the settings, increase frames per second. Make geometrical accuracy and 3D contact resolution as high. Insert the gravity in negative Y direction. Add contact between wheels and the fixed base. Select the spring option. Select the edges of spring components to define end-to-end -end distance of spring. The spring stiffness and free length are important parameters. We'll make stiffness as 10 Newton per mm. Similarly, we will add spring component to all independent wheel assemblies, and keep stiffness of 10 Newton per mm. Reduce the motion time by dragging the key. Click on Calculate. Let's check in full size with reduced play speed. We see the car bouncing, due to the spring effect. We will now see the effect of increasing the spring stiffness. Change all spring stiffness as 20 Newton per mm. Calculate again. We see that the car is bouncing less, compared to previous case. Let's just now change the front spring stiffness for both sides. Make it 5 Newton per mm. Calculate again.
we see the front part bouncing more, compared to rear part of car. We can check many cases, with different car geometry, different suspension geometries, and different stiffnesses. Hope this video was interesting. Thank you.